So this is 2023 and we're looking at move CV or transform CV which is down in the control panel here. I've actually got that on a hot key so if you want to do that um, you can go into um, preferences. First of all you want to set toggle single hotkey so you can just do one hotkey. So I have the hotkey C for this and if you go into the hotkey menu not entirely obvious where this is going to be but it's under control panel levels modeling panel tools transform CV so I've put C in there and apply that so when I press C rather than going down to that menu I can nothing happens um, but I can then go into the, the menu this menu um, with the space bar so we're looking at moving a single point so it's that one and that one we want to pick if you put the mouse sensitivity to one then and pick that CV and I'll take the step size off for now obviously that's just moving it one to one ratio um, if we go into step size so pick step size and lock it which is what that symbol is so that's unlocked that's locked and I'll set a step size of 10 and we'll see what happens. So the way to actually interrogate this is to use the information window, which is under uh, Windows information, information window for which I've got another hotkey, which is I. So we can just go into there and this is showing us the X, Y, Z of that CV. So that's, that's going to be useful um, for seeing what's happening here. So I've got a step size of 10 mil, nice round number. Um, if I use the, the mouse and I use the right mouse key, this is gonna move this CV in the Z direction. So if we look at that value, 112, 18 something, and remember I've got this locked, so it'll only do one move. If I click up above here and drag it, it's changed it to 1228. So let's just undo that. So it's, you can see it's moved by 10 mil um, likewise in the y direction if i move it using the middle mouse button so i'll move it over here that's moved it by 10 mil and back again and the same in the z direction so i'm putting them putting the the cursor where i want to move it to so that's moved it by 10 mil in the x direction that's using the left hand mouse button you can also use the arrow keys on the keyboard but you can't change the z value um, so if we use the the left hand arrow key you'll see what, ha what happens here so it's moving it in the x direction or the in the other sense using the right hand actually it's not doing that it's actually just reducing it all the time I think it yeah it depends on which side I put the mouse on so I'll put the mouse on there um, so it's sort of no it, it doesn't depend on the mouse I beg your pardon no, it does, it's very confusing. Yeah, it's confusing. I mean, I do find step confusing, as people have said. Um, the the Y value, again, I can move it in, in increments. I'm using these arrow keys on the keyboard, and sometimes it goes one way and then the other way, depending on where you've got the mouth, the uh, cursor, which is not great. Um, much prefer to use the the mouse which is what I'm doing here here so I put the put the cursor over here it's going to move in that sense put it that way it's going to move in that sense if I use right hand mouse button it's going to move up right hand mouse button down here is going to move with the cursor down here is going to move down all makes some logical sense because it's all moving by 10 mil increments which is what you expect with this locked step size if I take the locking off I can still do the same sort of thing so if I click above there you can still see it's moved by 10 mil so I'm holding the, the cursor where it is um, same in the Y and the, and the X so I'm using the different mouse buttons here but I can also choose to just move it free so you've got the best of both worlds in a sense with that um, as people have suggested and this is what I use most of the time I don't bother with the step size at all and I just use mouse sensitivity. So if I wanted to move that slowly, I'll just increase the mouse sensitivity. So now it moves very slowly compared with a mouse sensitivity of one where it moves very quickly. Um, now it looks like, it, it looks in this menu as though you can only go to 50. Well, you can go much higher than that. You can just change that number to, oh, whatever you want. 
it's in there. Yes, it's in that box there. So let's make that 500. And I seem to got rid of all the CVs for some reason, probably because I've hit a button um, by accident there. I'm trying to remember how this works now, because I'm, I'm now now into 2024. So so let's pick on that one. So let's go again. Single pick there. Got mass sensitivity of 500. Pick that point. It's really really slow. And so if you look at the values here. I'm doing that by very, very small amounts. So mass sensitivity is a way away. The other thing you can do here is if I click in that box while it's open, um, I can actually use Alt, and this applies to lots of menus, where you can use Alt and use the, use the mouse to increase that value if you wanted to. So if you might want to make that very, very tiny. The other thing, of course, you can do is to zoom in. Um, that's going to Going to slow that down so that's 2024 it's sort of logical in terms of the step size because you put in 10 mil and you pick that point and you're moving it by 10 mil every time you click or um or just try and drag it it won't go any further than 10 mil because i've got that locked if we look at 2024 rather than 23 um got the same sort of thing here I've got my information window up already, so I'm just going to pick C, and then this time single CV, X, Y, Z, pick that point. This is a lot clearer, the, the highlighting, I have to say. Um, mass sensitivity of 1, step size I've got clicked on, and I've got a value of 10. Uh, if I lock the step size, now currently we've got a, a Z value of 1300. If I click above it with the right mouse button, you'll see it doesn't put 10 mil in. So I think that's a bug because um, it doesn't make any sense. And 2023 did it in 10 mil increments. If we do it in the Y direction. So let's have a look at that. Again, it's not it's not actually doing the distance that we are asking it for. Um, and likewise in the Z direction, it's not doing it by 10 mil increments if we look up there. Um, with the arrows, so if I use the arrow keys, so let's just, um, the beauty about this is we can actually edit these values. So let's just round those down to some values that are easy to see when we're doing 10, 10 mil increments or not. So if I use the left and right mat arrows, let's see what happens there. Nothing by those things. Um, okay. Okay, so I've got to, it looks like I've got to put the mouse somewhere cursor somewhere and that's affecting the x value so that's the left hand right hand and that's moving it by 10 mil increments so that's consistent with 2023 the but the difference is actually that you don't need to move the cursor whereas in 2023 you seem to have to move the cursor around which is really puzzling um, this one i'm using left arrow right arrow and that makes logical sense um, up and down arrows so that's moving in y by 10 mil in and out, so that's the up and down arrows. It's much more logical than 2023. But the problem is we haven't got any way of moving the the Z value using the arrow keys. I've tried the num lock, um, but that does exactly the same thing. So if you use that that keypad there, um, that doesn't help you at all. Um, so I think this is a bug where we're using the the curse the um, mouse to do this. Um, but you have got the option of using arrows if you want exactly 10 mil. Chances are you don't actually want exactly 10 mil. Usually if you're moving something by very, you'd be moving this by microscopic amounts like 0 0.01 or something. Um, the exact size doesn't usually matter in fact, um, but it is it's not really doing what it says it, it's supposed to do when you use the, the mouse there.